Hi everyone, David Mitchell from Baby Renovations and I'm here today at the end of week one, or it's actually just the start of week two of our Wheatley Road project in Ormond. There's been a lot done in one week by the boys. So uh, on pulling the bathroom apart, we found that all the old walls were the old lard and plaster style walls, as you can see on this side here and I mean there's no problem with that but it, it takes a lot of work to pull them down so obviously we pulled them all down um, didn't really find any problems um, with this bathroom at all it wasn't even rotted in the shower base which was quite amazing considering the age and you know there was a lot of loose tiles and stuff so um, really really happy to see that um, so it's all been stripped back we've straightened all the walls uh, we've put a lintel in there across the top of what will be a shaving cabinet above the vanity there um, on the back wall there we've put like a really big niche on the back of the shower we've built one of our custom shower bases in there um, and then one of the main things that we've done to upgrade this room is a really gorgeous new big Velux skylight. Uh, the guys installed that today um, and um, they will continue on tomorrow as well. Um, so today all of the plumbing was done, so made sure all of the waste points were in the right positions. Um, as you can see the mixers and spouts are all installed. Our mixer diverter here is installed. We've got a little handheld here with a a um, shower um, head like a rainfall shower head off the wall we didn't go from the ceiling because they're three meter ceilings um, and obviously you can see um, here we actually yeah we actually did pull the entire floor up uh, we didn't pull the bearers up but all the joists so we didn't find any leaking issues or anything but the floor was about 30 mil um, out of level so rather than try to fix it we just pulled the entire floor up. We've replaced the entire floor with hardwood joists. Um, and in the shower there, you can see we've upsized them. Um, they're not 90 mil anymore. They're 140s. So, um, and then obviously added, added a lot of um, additional timber here where we need it. So this ceiling, um, it's, um, it's the same. It's way out of um, level. So... Obviously, when you're tiling to the ceiling, you want to make sure that your ceiling is level along with the floor. Otherwise, you'll really notice it when you put a tile line close to the ceiling. And on, on that back wall there, we've got a gorgeous um, subway tile feature wall. So as you get close to the ceiling, you're really going to see it if it's out of level. So we're going to put um, a new um, ceiling. We're going to batten the ceiling out so that it's... Um, it's all level we're going to lower it to the perfect height that we want as well so it'll be lowered to three meters um, and then um, make sure that again all the walls straighten that back walls already got a lot of new timber in it and you can see we've actually laminated um, timber on the sides of the old studs there um, on almost every single one just to straighten it just to make sure that we get it nice and straight you can see here all the plumbing um, has been completed. Tomorrow our electricians are in. Um, and then if you look back this way, you can see we've actually laminated all of the studs on this end of the room as well. So instead of trying to straighten old hardwood, basically we just run timber up the side of each stud and that straightens it. Um, and this area here, most of that wall has actually been replaced. So uh, all in all, um, fantastic work by my team, uh, all done within the first week. Um, it's a lot of work when you're working with hardwood in an old home like this. Um, it's not easy to get it perfect. So, um, yeah, tomorrow electricians are in. Uh, my carpenters will be in as well. Um, they'll run all the new lighting, the um, all the switches, LED lights, and you know everything else that goes along with it. Um, the carpenters will put the new flooring down, tile underlay, and we'll be ready for plastering on Wednesday. Today's Monday, so within a week and a half we're at plaster, and um, I honestly can't wait to see this finished. It's going to look amazing. So thanks for watching.